Federal health officials are expected to recommend an extra dose of the COVID vaccine for all Americans as early as this week. Thanks for joining us. This is a nightly check in. I'm Mark Mullen. The shots would come eight months after the second dose of the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine, and they would start going out as early as September pending FDA authorization. Separately, third doses already are being given to those who are immunocompromised after the FDA gave the OK for that last week. So far, there was no booster for people who got the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Here in San Diego County, more than 2 million people are now fully vaccinated against COVID-19, and those initial booster shots will likely go to health care workers and nursing home residents. Remember, they were the first to get the vaccine, so they would need it sooner. The CDC has not yet released any of its own findings on how the vaccine's protection works over time, but new data from Israel shows a level of protection in people who got Pfizer's vaccine has been decreasing. We asked San Diegans whether they will get the booster shot when it's their turn, as you probably can imagine, kind of a mixed bag. Who cares? Let's let's if we have to get boosters for the rest of our lives to get as back to normal as we can be. I'm on board for that, and I think we all should be. First, it's the mask, then it's the vaccine, and then it's a second dose and a third dose. And it's oh, if you give someone an inch, they're going to take a mile, and that's what's that's what we're seeing right now. Well, uh, COVID vaccine makers, including Pfizer and Moderna, have repeatedly said everyone will eventually need a booster shot. They said that all along, and possibly doses every year, just like they do for the seasonal flu. In the East County, thousands of students just wrapped up their first day back to school. The Cajon Valley Union School District is now back to in-person learning five days a week. NBC7 went to take a look at Bostonia Global. There was a traffic jam in the parking lot. Parents were having kind of a tough time saying goodbye to their students. But most students from which we heard from today said they're really excited to be back because... My friends. Probably meeting new friends. I'm making new friends. Uh, meeting old friends, which is a little worried, but excited at the same time. Unlike last year, Cajon Valley schools will no longer be doing daily temperature checks, but students will be required to wear masks inside, as you saw, and they will not switch classrooms. They'll actually remain in the same groups throughout the whole day. In other news, the trial for the man charged with killing San Diego police officer Jonathan J.D. de Guzman started on Tuesday. 60-year-old Jesse Gomez faces a murder charge plus a special circumstance allegation of murder of a police officer. Prosecutors say Gomez shot and injured Officer Wade Irwin, then killed Officer de Guzman, who was shot at point-blank range while sitting in the front seat of his patrol car. It happened in Shelltown in 2016. Officer Irwin was shot in the neck but managed to fire at Gomez, hitting him twice. The jury watched some dramatic body camera video today of officers desperately trying to save their colleagues. We have blurred the video out of respect for the families, but it shows the first officer arriving on scene just minutes after de Guzman and Irwin were shot. <laughs> Gomez's attorney said the officers never identified themselves and that Gomez did not know he was firing at police officers. The attorney is not denying Gomez fired his gun, but she is claiming he did it because he feared for his life. Gomez could face the death penalty if convicted of murder and the special circumstance allegation. The trial, by the way, is expected to take about two months. Airbnb is cracking down on Halloween parties again this year. A spokesperson says Airbnb will ban one night reservations during Halloween weekend on home listings all across the country, including here in San Diego, except for guests with a history of positive reviews. Airbnb introduced a similar initiative for the first time over Halloween last year. The company said that was a success with a drop in unauthorized parties. And finally, the county is teaming up with the Padres again to help get more San Diegans vaccinated. A clinic will be held Tuesday, August 24th at Petco Park. The clinic runs from 1 to 5 p.m. for everyone and from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. for those with tickets to that evening's Padres game. Before we sign off, here are your current temperatures. Dagmar has an extended forecast over at the weather section located on the main menu of our Roku and Apple TV app. I'm Mark Mullen. That's going to do it for the nightly check-in. Be safe. Have a good night.